Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've made with my Cricut mug press. I am preparing for a craft show in September. Um, and this mug press for me has been very much trial and error. So I will be showing you a lot of error that I have made, a lot of learning curve, a lot of things that are going to the craft show as, um, like testers that I will be selling for very cheap. Um, a lot of things that are just not going to be sold and a few things that are going to be sold at normal price that I am very happy with. So let's get so into it. The first two things I want to show you, and if you didn't watch my last video, that's okay. It was a review. If it didn't apply to you and then it didn't apply to you, you didn't watch. Um, but I did sublimate this in my Cricut mug press and it is Hocus Pocus themed. And it says, oh look, another glorious morning makes me sick. And I'm very upset with myself because I forgot to weed the middle of the O. So <laughs> that's my error. Um, that was not the machine error. It sublimated absolutely beautifully right here, as I explained in my other video as well. Um, not an error. Um, it's a galaxy print and that's just part of the print. Like it was a star and it just doesn't show up right there. So, um, but this is my error. Without me doing that, this would have been a perfect sellable cup. Um, but now it's just gonna probably go to my sister-in-law or something who loves Hocus Pocus and who won't mind a little mess, 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 blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today, little mess up. Um, the next cup that I sublimated in my mug press, yes, I use my mug press for this, is my new water bottle. I am so obsessed, you guys. It's sublimated beautifully. So, now let's get into the mugs. Okay. So a little fact about me, I am obsessed with K-pop and all things K-pop. So the first thing that I did, um, and this is one of the first mugs that I did, um, I put my name on it and a little finger heart for the K-pop community. I absolutely love this mug. It came out so perfectly. And then the next K-pop related mug I did, there's going to be lots of opening in this. So I'm sorry if you don't want to see that or hear me moving around bubble wrap because I'm not exactly in a position to edit. I'm just using my iPhone. I'm sorry. You can skip this video. Um, but it says it's on a glitter cup. And it says, I'd rather be listening to K-pop. And I am obsessed with this mug. So as I said, I am doing a fall craft show. And I'm doing a lot of Halloween themed, fall themed mugs. And this is the next one I did. I'm obsessed with this little guy. He's holding a flower. And these all will be washed before they go to the craft show. No, they've not been drank out of, but you can see just from being held, he's got fingerprints all over him. But he's got the hearts right there. I am obsessed with this little guy. How adorable is he? He sublimated perfectly. Like, he's going straight the to the Next one I did is inspired by my sister-in-law. It says, tea time is me time. Another perfect mug. I don't want to say perfect because some of the ink, I don't know if you guys can see like right there, it leaked out somehow, but I will put this as like a tester and sell it for um, cheaper than what I would sell a perfect mug for. Okay, the next one that is absolutely going to the craft show. I am in my spooky era, very like Taylor Swift inspired. Um, and a lot of these designs I found on um, Cricut Design Space. Very simple to use, very easy, and I am obsessed. All right, I posted this guy online and it got a lot of love, so I'm hoping that he does well at the craft show. It says, just a little ray of pitch black. <laughs> Instead of just a little ray of sunshine, just a little ray of pitch black. I love this. This is probably my favorite one that I've done besides 
this little guy here. I love both of these so much. Here's another one I did um, that has quite a bit of error, but is still going to go to the craft show and will be sold as like a tester um, practice. I keep saying tester. These are not tester mugs. These are practice mugs. And I did attend a um, uh, flea market and there were girls selling cups that they practiced on for a lot cheaper. And um, I think that's a wonderful idea so that your product doesn't go to waste. Um, and people can, you know, examine it and see if they like it. But it just says October 31st with the adorable little ghosts on it. But um, this heart here got a little scratched. And there are some, like, I'm not sure what happened. But these are, like, little burn marks almost. So this will be priced way down. Way, way, way way down but I do love this mug and I wish that I could have um saved it more than I was able to <laughs> I love it it's so cute okay we have two mugs left to go that are coming to the craft show and both of these are practice mugs that will go for um cheaper as I've said um so this says fall is proof that change is beautiful and on each side, there is a heart and a pumpkin. And the reason that these are, well, that this one specifically is a practice mug is because I put it too close, the image too close to the side where there was no pressure. And so the image didn't fully sublimate. Other than that, I think this is a gorgeous mug. And I love it so much. And the last mug that will be sold as a practice mug um, there was something wrong with the ink here. Uh, you can see the spot right there. Something happened with the ink. I'm not too sure what. If someone knows, please let me know so I can prevent it in the future. And then on the back, it just says, I'd rather be hunting. I love that image. I think that's really, uh, not that I condone. Uh, let's not get into that. I just, I think the, the nature part of it, let's, let's cover this. I think this is a beautiful image, but my husband really loves this image as a whole and really suggested that I do something like this. So maybe someone out there will enjoy it. I'm going to sell it for way less than I would a normal mug and yeah. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm talking so much. I filmed two videos today. Um, thank you for watching. I look forward to sharing more of my crafts with you as I progress and as I do more. I'm actually currently looking into getting a sublimation printer. So look forward to seeing more than just um, infusible ink crafts. Look forward to seeing actual sublimation crafts. Um, as the craft show comes closer and I do more crafts and more cups, that's what I should be saying, not crafts, cups. I am specifically cup based. Um, I do resin cups as well. I will be sharing those with you guys. That is where I got my start, glitter and resin cups. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video today and please subscribe and I look forward to hanging out with you guys some more. Bye.